Most Torontonians know that the city's homeless population has been hit particularly hard by COVID-19, with outbreaks of the virus within the shelter system and more people experiencing homelessness thanks to loss of income and for other reasons. The result is that we are seeing more and more tent encampments in parks across the city like this one here in Moss Park, and advocates say there is every reason to believe they'll continue to grow. The shelter system's full, we know, right? So uh, there's a number of less beds in the shelter system than there was before COVID. Um, I think as many as 500 to 1,000. Um, so I think for all those reasons, um, I think more and more people are forced outside. The situation continues to get worse. You see encampments all across, even outside the downtown core. Cook is an outreach worker with Sanctuary Toronto and says things have to change. He does acknowledge the city is making an effort. When the seven emergency shelters and community centres shut down at the end of June, the city moved most of the 300 inhabitants into the hotel program and other interim or permanent inside space. But Cook says for every person sleeping in a tent who transitions to housing, another one or two appears. His biggest concern is for new provincial legislation that he says will make it harder for tenants to stay in their housing and could cause the situation to snowball. Things could get way worse um, and probably will unless like very serious action has been taken by, by the city. The mayor could make evictions illegal. Um, he's chosen not to so far. Um, the province needs to get rid of Bill 184. Um, we need some sort of uh, rent relief at least um, or, or something. Otherwise, we'll have tons more people out on the street. The city says close to 700 people have been moved from encampments to safe inside spaces. And since mid-March, the city has found housing for 3,600 individuals. The city continues to try to move people living in tents to indoor shelter spaces. And while there has been a moratorium on evictions of tent inhabitants since the pandemic, Greg Cook tells me they continue to get eviction and trespassing notices. Well, now advocates have taken this fight to the courts. There is an application to declare the city's bylaws unconstitutional. On Shooter, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.